Okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Okay. I'm just setting up all my stuff. Okay. My screen, yeah, yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, hold on, let's do your p.gg first, okay. Let's mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so I mostly play Jinx. Just on a second. That's all. Oh. <laughs> okay. What your OP what your OPGG tells me that you fight a lot, that's why your farm is slow. Like you have this sixty three KP, you have sixty nine, um you have fifty two. All of this is like not Normal for the, for AD carry. Yeah, that's how like, you yeah. My my problem. One of my problems is like figuring out what, when to be farming and when to be at the fights because it feels like when I want to fight a lot, I lose on farm, and if I farm a lot, then my team will take bad fights and I can't help them. Yeah, I understand. This is not a problem. This is just a how do I say. That's an overview. So I guess you have to fix your decision making, which we were, which I mean, I will explain to you. Okay. I'm okay, not so sure if this is mm -hmm. the. I'm not sure if this is the right game. Hold on. Um, I'm playing Ezreal. Guys won this game, I think. Maybe I downloaded the wrong one. I don't remember this. Did I? I think I won this. Yeah, you want this. Okay. So, I think... Is the correct replay? I don't think so. This is from, like, yesterday or something. Not... It's just, like, two days ago. I don't know if this one would be helpful. Um, Let me, let me look at my replays again. Uh, maybe... I think... Is that the first one I sent you or the second one? You sent me to... I downloaded the first one, I didn't download the second one. Okay, I think the second one should be... should be correct. Okay. That first one, that one I accidentally sent you. I don't think it'd be very helpful. Because I just got like super... that was the one where I went 22 and 1. So... Is the correct game? Uh, okay. This is your trade game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, like our, our whole team was losing, sort of. Um, I got some kills, but I kind of dropped the ball, I think, and my CS was quite low. So, so this one okay. definitely should be right. So I think I potentially could have carried, even though it would have been kind of hard. Holy shit! Ah, uh, yikes. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, blue team, right? Yeah. yeah. Blue team. Okay, first thing first, we talk about champion matchups. So we can simulate how we want to play this bot lane along hmm. with our support. Is this your duo or is this a solo queue support? It's just random. Solo queue. Okay. So trees. Oh shit! My color is so. Uh, let me use blue then. Trees. Morgana versus Kaisa Lux. So trees stunner ability will be the explosive, the attack speed, and the rocket jump. Right? Kaisa will be the missile. The W, which is a long cannon, 
uh-huh. and the E, which is the attack speed. <clears throat> yeah. So this tells you that both of these champions wants to have a long trade because Tris E isn't a burst. I mean, Tris E takes a charge. So yeah. each auto, you have to charge it. Kaisa as well. Kaisa is auto attack to proc the passive. Mm-hmm. Then we look at the support. They can help their own indie carry by binding or by slowing down, which is Lux able to do both. Morgana only with the Q. But Morgana shield blocks Kaisa passive as well. So that's good. Yeah. Uh, my plan going into this was... I guess wait for them to use their abilities and then jump in on them because I know Lux is quite squishy early and I didn't want her to get ahead. So it's it worked out sometimes, but also didn't. So I obviously did some things wrong. Okay, cause level one, none of you can do anything, right? So at what yeah. level do you think you guys should fight? Three. Three? Why? Because I can get. Um, or maybe one or two whatever I can get a, a black shield or Morgana can do something but I think three is a good all in for Tristana okay that's good cause these both champions are going at level three since Morgana black shield helps you tank some damage like one or two HP boss so yeah mm-hmm. correct now the lane state let's talk about lane okay um mm-hmm. this is how you should do this is how you should view bot lane. You cut the lane into half. Then let's say Tris Morgana. This is the line of minion. I call it line of minion because it's the one that's um, going to decide who's standing top side, who's standing bot side. So let's say Kaisa Lux here. Who do you think should stand top side? Who do you think should stand bot side for your team? For my team, I think. Maybe I should stand top side because I have a jump escape and Morgana can maybe hide in bushes and try to get bindings. Mm-hmm. And the same thing for their matchup where Lux can try to use the bush to get bindings as well. Okay, so what if Lux stands top side and Kaisa stands bot side? Hmm. I think I should go bot side maybe because I want to be in between behind minions from Lux because her her W or her Q or whatever okay Should so I just another mirror? way another way you can see this is range okay because yeah. Tris range is higher than Kaisa right so you can poke her plus if Kaisa is standing the opposite of you um, Kaisa is standing opposite of you if you hit her these minions will aggro on you mm-hmm. you do not want that so yeah, you play the the range game because if you stand here, it's much more closer. Three D as a uh, triangle hypothesis. Okay, you see this? Okay. Yeah, this is the hypo, right? Yeah, three D as this is the hypo. This is the longest range. It's hard to hit. But mm. of course, um, if you're fighting champions like Draven, you do not want to face Draven hundred percent. So if Draven is standing by side, your main response is to stand the other side. Oh, okay. Because if you stand, yeah. Because if you stand in the same line as Draven, what happens? He will fight you. Right. He wants to trade with you. But if you stand the opposite side, your minions can help you trade against Draven. Okay. And and it's very hard for him to catch, because this triangle is very is very long. So the minions won't aggro if you're on the same side as them. If you're. It won't because the way minions work is okay. This. Let's say this is the minion, right? This is the minion. Mm-hmm. This is the detection range. It's like very small. It's mm-hmm. like I put a boxer, but it's actually a sucker. So yeah. So if Draven hits you here, he, your minions might not able to detect it that you're getting hit. Okay. Yeah. So it's better to stand opposite where he has to touch the minion with. Like he has to walk forward. He has to walk forward a bit to, to attack. To auto attack you here, so meaning these minions will be able to detect that Draven is here. Okay. So they will chase. Good. Understand so far? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
do you want me to explain the support as well? Like maybe if you have a strong support, I guess. Okay. Okay. Let's say you have a jinx. Okay. I mean, yeah. sorry. Let's say the enemy has a jinx. Someone who's immobile, someone who's easily gets hooked. It is a. You want the trash to always stand near them, right? Trash. Yeah. Let's say you're using someone like Kalista. This oh. is a double winning matchup against Jinx. Maybe he has Karma. So you have two good champions, but who gets hooked easier? The Jinx, right? Yeah. The Jinx have lower mobility. So what you want to do is tell your trash to always match the Jinx. If he can match the Jinx, the Jinx will be easily flayed, will be easily hooked. Because if he stands the other side, trash can't cast kill. It's very hard. He has to like tank the minion wave and flay, which is bad. You do not want that. You you do not want your, tr- your trash to get put down first. Okay. Okay. So that's how bot lane should be played. That's how I view the bot lane. Every game you can analyze yourself. Mhm. Okay. Another thing. Both of these champions. What do you want to re- what do what do you think they want to recall on? Uh, Tristana, maybe, uh, BT, uh, B, no, BF Sword, um, and Kai'Sa, I don't know, maybe the, maybe the same, maybe, is she... maybe the same, okay, yeah. both of these champions can buy the same, right, yeah. BF versus BF, because EP Kai'Sa doesn't really work anymore, okay, so, we know this, so do you know how many, Minions to get to 1.3k goal? No. It's 42. 42. 42? Yeah, 42 at nearly... Um... 5 minutes. 5 minutes near. This is the... Um... Estimated 42. Okay? Okay. So, if we know... We need 42 minions. So, this is where... It gets better. Okay? Whichever AD carry is able to get... To the beer sort by item first will try to recall faster. Uh-huh. So you as an AD carry, you can track the enemy AD carry goal. Let's say you know that he's at 1.2k because you're at the same. Then you see her trying to hard shove. What does that tell you? Is she her trying to what? If she's trying to hard shove the wave. Uh, she's hard shoving. Oh, shoving the wave. Um, that she yeah. wants to recall. She wants to recall, right? Because she's very near to 1.3k. So, what is she prone to? Uh, ganks. Ganks, correct. So, if you want to coordinate with your jungler, you can tell your jungler that she wants to recall. Come down and abuse it. Because you can look at your own goal, you can do the same. If you want to recall, look at your goal. If you're at 1.2k, you only need one more wave to reach 1.3k. Mm-hmm. Okay? So you can hard shove, recall, come back, and the wave will be in your favor if the wave ever touches. But because she wants to reset, right? She wants to reset back, she has to shove back, correct? Like she has yeah. to shove back to your turret. Yeah. Else, there will be big, a big giant wave crashing towards you and you can freeze it, which she doesn't want that to happen, correct? Yeah. So if that happens, what if you manage to come back on time? Like uh... she didn't manage to reset. Then I have a, the wave. a minion advantage and she's forced to be on my side of the lane. And she can't recall, right? Because she has to clear the wave. Yeah. And if if she recalls, you can just push her. She will lose two waves. Uh, At minimum, she will lose she will lose two waves. Do you think you can sim- simulate it like in your brain? Like do you see it? So if she isn't able to push it in and she recalls, she'll lose two waves. Yes. Uh Okay. Yeah, okay. assuming assuming you try to assuming you push, you manage to get all the minions under her turret, then you recall, get your BS sword, then quickly run back to your bot lane. The wave should be around here. Okay. For you to take. Yeah. Unless so, she has a jungler. Uh okay. So usually what I would I used to do is um if they recall and they didn't push it in all the way, I would just like try to freeze it. But then I realized that that makes me kind of stuck in the lane. Yeah, do not want that. Okay, so I want yeah, to. Re- yeah, it's the same. Yeah. Okay. That's that's what I was trying to explain to you. Where you can make the Kaisa stay. 
Because if the Kaisa doesn't reset the wave, she is forced to stay. Because if she tries to reset, you can just hard shove. Hard shove okay. then keep shoving the keep shoving the minus to her turret. Meaning she will standing goal. We call like excess goal standing goal. Meaning she will accumulate like 1.3k. Um, 1.3k to like 1.7k for nothing. While you're standing on zero goal with Bia Sword. So uh-huh. you are able to abuse your 1.3k buy, but she couldn't abuse it. So what does that mean? You gain control of Dragon. Okay, Infernal, Dragon. Yeah. You gain control of the entire box side jungle. Meaning, you can force fights at river. Your jungle is able to invade. Um, is able to invade. So you can help. And what if Kaisa comes? It's a uh-huh. 3v3, right? But you have, B- you have BF Sword. Mm-hmm. Then we get there first. Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. okay. So you appear so she doesn't have items, meaning you guys automatically win. Unless I don't know how in the world you guys will lose. Maybe Lux you get me. all in by uh, yeah. Maybe you get all in by somebody. <laughs> so yeah, that's the simulation. That's the best possible scenario we want. That's a possible good scenario that we can have. It's okay. not impossible at all. So yeah, we'll see how you control the wave. Are you following me so far? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yikes. Mm. If I don't have enough money to buy um, BF Sword, is it better to buy the pickaxe or buy boots? If you can buy boots. Boots, boots is boots. better. Yes, boots is better. Gives you, gives you utility and lets you to farm. Okay, let's... It allows you to farm better because right. attack speed is much more important than AD. Yes. If yeah, pickets doesn't give a lot of AD. Okay. You can you can one shot the minions like if this turret shot hits. Uh, how do I say? It's based on experience. Twenty five damage doesn't allow you to CS under turret effectively. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, first things first. This was not needed. You are not needed here. If you know your jungler is going to concede this red buff, just mm. go to the lane and try to create a slow push. Do you know how to create a slow push? Slow push towards me or them? Towards her. Towards uh, her just, first. Just last hit minions. Okay, no. no. You don't. You don't do that. Last hitting means you're effectively freezing. Okay. Okay. These minions are called um okay, they are mage minions, right? But they are the damage units. Damage? What are these? These are tank, right? Tank. Okay. Okay. So if you want to slow push, what must you remove first? Uh on my team or their uh... Yeah, they are you want to remove their tanks? Or, really? or, or their damage? Yes, you remove their damage. But if you remove their tanks, what happens? You create a fast push. Right. Okay. Right. Because if the tanks die, the damage minus will die so much faster. Alright? Yeah. But then... if the damage minus die, then the tank will survive much more. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you go into lane. You kill the three minions in the back. And don't hit the front wave. You last hit on the front wave, so your minions will stack up, right? You will have more minions than her because you still have your three melee minions, right? Uh-huh. You'll have your three melee, so your next wave will support this wave. So it will push. Um, it will hundred percent push. Hit this turret and will bounce back towards you. That is what you want. After it bounces back towards you, you want to freeze it here. Why uh-huh. do you think it will bounce back? Um. Because the minions will meet up faster on their side, so it'll slow push towards me. Yeah, but that's what you want to do. You want to freeze towards your side. Because why? In a long lane, cha- your champion is very good. Why? You have effectively three flashes. Since if you use your first rocket jump, then you use your E, right? If your E explodes, your hmm. rocket jump resets. 
So that's two. Then you have your flash. If you fight in a long lane, you can definitely catch up with those three flashes. That's what you want to do. But if you fight at their area, let's say they're freezing, you cannot use your W, right? Your W is useless. Mm -hmm. So that's not what you want. You want the lane to be towards you. Okay. So if I want it yeah. to be on my side, I want to hard push the first wave and let it come back. Okay. You have to slow push. You have to I'm, create oh yeah, slow a big push. wave. Yeah. A fast push is only to look for level 2. And it will create a small freeze here. And you can break it easily. But because you only want to look for early level 2. But there are minion wave will meet around here. Because okay. you killed the front wave. So your minion will move forward to the back line. So the next minion will support it. And voila, you will have the enemy minions supporting here. While your minions is supporting here. Mm. Okay. So you have a bigger wave, but a little bit. They will have a smaller wave. They might have only like, what? Um, two less minions. Mm -hmm. Around there. So you reach level 2 first, and you will reach level 2 later. That's where you abuse your level 2. But in this case, you're not going to look for level 2. You're not yeah. trash driven. Yeah. Your champion requires you to get level two, level 3. Okay. If you need me to explain some things, you can just ask me. Okay? Okay. How do, how do you know it's safe to push against them? Okay, let's look at... Okay, because Kaisa... Does Kaisa have early game damage? You look at his base damage, 45. Assuming everything hits 45, okay? Uh -huh. W is um, 115-ish, but it's not reliable. E is his utility. Uh -huh. And her passive requires 5 hits or 4 hits around there. I think it's 5 uh -huh. hits. But Lux as well, she only has binding. She has no like um, flay, she doesn't have something high damage ability. If you look at all the abilities, like if they have base damage, if they have high base damage, they have lower scaling. That's mm -hmm. how leak logic works. If you look at yours, it's the same. Your E doesn't deal as much damage, right? So there's no point using it early. Mm -hmm. Your W as well. I mean, your W has high base, but it will get outskilled by the rest of her abilities. What would you consider high damage for early game? Something like Draven Axis. Let's look at Draven Axis, okay? okay? Draven. Then let's look at Lucian as Let's look at Lucian first. <clears throat> so Lucian, the sing light, okay, and light slinger. If you look, if you cast auto Q auto, that's like um, two hundred each damage. Why? Right? That's eighty five. Then increase after using an ability. Lucian next special attack within three seconds. Shoot twice. The second the dealing fifty percent um, of your AD physical damage. Okay. So, each time he casts his skill, if he manages to auto auto attack, how much damage is that? That's like 150, right? Alright? Uh -huh. Yeah. What, what's his so it, a base AD? His base AD is 61. 61. Kotmo is like 48. Draven, I'm guessing he has like 50 something? 56? 57? Okay, he has 60. Okay. So, Draven as well. If you look at Draven, his abilities are... Okay, look, this bonus physical damage, 35. So this is... And including Doran Blade will be around... Um, 38 AD-ish? If he has 38 extra physical damage. So each of his auto attacks, he only needs two autos to out-damage 3's E. 
Uh, she only needs like one auto. It, it feels like uh, ability. Okay. What? Triss is full stacked E? Triss full stack E is, yeah, two access. Wow. Okay. That's why, that's why Draven is the most strongest AD carry because his skill, each time you upgrade it, you gain bonus AD increase and the scaling increases. But if you look at Lucian, Lucian cannot win Draven because why? Draven wins long trades, why? Because his spinning access is not on cooldown, right? Mm -hmm. He's always catching those access. But Lucian, nine. Nine mm -hmm. cooldown. So each time Draven gets a long trade off Lucian, what happens? He will start to out damage Lucian. But mm -hmm. Lucian initial combo will do more damage. But after his first combo, he should back off. If he doesn't back off, then Draven will start to out damage him. Because why? You see this blood rush as well. Uh, you do not want to deal with blood rush. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But if you look at your own champion, you don't your passive doesn't help, your E needs help. Like thirty uh percent -huh. um if it's increased to like hundred and twenty percent damage, that's like only 170 damage ish since you times two is at okay sorry that's 160 damage okay mm -hmm. 160 damage on auto on the explosive charge but is it reliable no you have to yeah, fight for no, a right? long time mm -hmm. and she cannot chase properly if she wants to chase she has to rocket jump in mm -hmm. so do you think it's bad to expect. level e first on Tris? yes it's very bad because yeah um as a Tris. You want to see how you want to control the lane, okay? So because your E, yeah, no, no, no. Do not up any abilities first uh. while laning. A three stunner will determine how he wants the lane to be. Once he look at his laners, like if he comes early or comes late, or how he how he wants to respond to the enemy. Let's say the enemy is driven, right? If driven uh. starts pushing, three wants to match. Tris doesn't want to get out level by Draven at level 2. Because once Draven reach level 2, your Tris will get zoned, right? You cannot take any more CS. So, mm -hmm. you do not want to get zoned off. So, Tris will add his E. Because your E explodes. But if you want to create a... Um, if you do not want to push or anything, you do not up any abilities. Because your E is still important as level 1, but you do not up it. You only up it once you want to trade. Some people will up W um, when they are halfway trading. Because your W deals more damage at level 1 than your E. Uh. Or, they want, or they want to play safe. Because, some, because sometimes Draven might push you too hard that even if you level up your E, you can't out push him. So you, you need your W like against someone like Blitz, someone like Trash. Like you're scared of them going all in at level two, level one. Okay. That's why most trees don't level up their abilities. They wait. They see what they need for this lane. But in this case, you need your E. Because you want to clear this back wave. Uh, I okay. never use E on the minions until like way later. I'm not used to that. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Your, um, yeah, your E is very good if you want to create a slow push or fast push. Depend it determines what you want to do. Okay. okay. For a slow push, do I want to kill the casters as fast as I can? or? Yes, kill the casters as fast as you can. Okay. Just yeah. last, but only last hit the melees. Hmm? Okay. Is that the same for the next waves that come? Um, The next wave, you have bigger wave, right? Yeah. Meaning... You can just hard shove it, like kill the front minions, then kill the back lane, then okay. make sure it touches the turret. Because that way, Kaisa cannot see us, everything. Okay. She will miss some of it, so meaning you'll get your BF sword faster, right? You yeah. get your BF sword faster, and you can recall better. And the wave will be pushing towards you. Okay. Yeah. And this is bad since you didn't get any EXP. To level 2. Right. I'm just scared of them because... I, think... I know, it's, it's fine. 
You're supposed to be scared since you guys didn't gain level 2. Hmm. And your support is not in position. Hundred each damage. Oh, this is rough. Yeah, volley bear kills me. Or should I should I jump early here? Or should That's I not early. even? Yeah. Okay. Do you think walking? Because you saw him. You, you saw you saw him. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you saw him. You should just concede the moment you saw him. On this minion, I think. Hold on. Okay. The moment you see him, right? You reach level two. Mm -hmm. You should already try to jump out. Because mm -hmm. you're going to get dive in. There's no way they won't dive you. I would dive you instantly the moment I see this HP bar. And they know you burn heal. Yeah. Right? They should know. Yeah, yeah. They know you burn heal. So, yeah. You should be careful. You shouldn't greet for this because you guys screwed up your level one. You guys got traded here. You concede. You should concede everything. Like just concede this turret HP. Mm -hmm. Never ever overstay, especially when you see the jungler walking in. If yeah. if the if if you don't see the jungler, then it's fine because you don't know that he's going to chase you. But you can try to guess that if I'm the jungler, would I dive this Tristana? You can try to simulate it in your mind. Yeah. Yeah, just jump. Uh. Yeah, I have a problem with just conceding when I can't land anymore. Like I always want to stay. I always want to just stay for like the XP and the minions, even. If but usually it's not I even see. good. I see. Okay, let's take it this way, okay? You... Let's use analogy of money. Okay, money. Mm -hmm. Short-term investment versus long-term investment. Okay, never mind. I just use this League of Legends, okay? Mm -hmm. If you recall now, you lose short-term, right? Like before that. Like before this death happened. Yeah. All of this. You will lose all of this, but... At least you come back much more faster. Plus you do, you didn't give them any goal. So in short term, you lose a lot. But in long term, you gain more. But if you stay, short term, you gain. But long term, you will lose out. Yeah. Do you get it? Yeah. You always want the long term investment. Okay. Never ever think of the short term. Like, never ever think like, okay, I need, I need this wave. But I'm too, too buff. If the jungler come, I'm screwed. If you know that you're screwed, you should recall. Like, if you know the jungler is puffing towards the side with walks, you saw him, then you know, okay, this is my stop button. I should not stay anymore. I, I will lose this wave, but at least I won't lose the rest. Because I will be full HP, and I have full mana, and I can sustain in this lane now. But before that, you were like super low. You do not want that. Right. Always think of a long-term investment as an AD carry. Okay. Are there roles where you want it? Think of short-term more? Are there roles? Yeah. Um, mid is the same. If you are getting hard push 24-7, and you're losing too many minions, you should know it's either you're down in mana, or you can't clear it properly. So you need like, some AP items or you need mana regen. So that's why you recall instantly because you cannot handle the wave anymore. You keep losing more minions. Mm -hmm. So you just lose the entire wave, short term loss. For the long term, you gain everything else. Okay. okay? There's no really good things about short term unless it's like. Um, well, let, me you think. Can, let me think of it. You might be able to snowball. You can turn a short term gain into a long term gain, right? Ah, yes, you can do that by something, okay, buying something like Doran Blade, an extra Do Doran Blade. Do you know what extra Doran Blade gives you? Well, 8 attack, 80 health. 
gives okay. you more sustained. In this, okay, in this term, it gives you an extra level. So you see this now, right? Uh -huh. If he has an extra Doran Blade, it's, it's equivalent to level 5 now. Oh, really? It gives you two levels of AD. Like, it's a, it's a level 6 now on AD. But it's a extra level on HP. Okay? Uh, okay. Yeah. So, if he buys the extra Doran Blade, it's a level 6 now. So you think if you have like an awkward amount of gold, do you think it's good to buy Doran's Blade? Yes. Okay. If you are going to play for lane. Okay. Carl, but... Carl isn't really good. Yeah, it's better for you to play for lane. Okay. Yeah, because that feels bad buying Carl. Because it takes so long yeah. to pay off. Mm hmm Okay. Good to know. Because so, yeah. usually when so, I had like a really weird amount of money, I would... I'd buy like boots and a dagger, dagger, and it feels really bad. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, AD carries don't really buy Doran play anymore, is because it's very hard for them to get to that level of awkwardness, because they have their support right, and they are range. So the okay. only way they can have a quote amount of gold. Is that they get cheesed. Uh huh. That, yeah, that's the only way they can have this awkward amount of gold. Yeah, or okay. if they Other just that, miss a ton of CS. Yeah, that's that's another whole new problem which shouldn't be happening as AD carry. Mm -hmm. This is very sad. Oh my god, she is that much. <laughs> uh, I, I oh, she needs to go. Yeah. I wouldn't have guessed that she has that much more. But I guess she got a tower plate and kill. A and kill. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. Oh. But she still okay, has this even on items. Yeah. So this goalie doesn't matter. At least she recalls. Yeah. So a, a smart Kaisa, a fat Kaisa would try to push this in. Then recall. But you can't recall, right? You can't recall at all. Mm -hmm. So you're forced to stay with her. So once you get your 1.3k, can you recall? Uh, it depends. If you can push it in, you can recall. Or if they recall, you can recall. The only way you recall is they recall. Yeah. That's the only way. But if she decides to like screw with you, she can just get her beer sword and lean with you for the rest of her time. <laughs> because why? The the wave will forever push towards you. Because she has a beer sword, right? Yeah. You have nothing. Yeah. So meaning she has full control of this lane. Is she trying to push the wave? Yeah, she is. See, she's trying to do a foot, uh, fast push. Insane. You actually abuse it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, that that was a much needed uh, kill, because if they manage to like push this wave before you kill them, it's over. Like she can instantly recall. Yeah. Ah, uh, good catch. Will he die? I think she does. Does Kaisa not have W? Uh, I don't know. Oh, she has no mana. Oh, yeah. Auto? Auto kill. Auto. Ah. Okay, now this. If you see your jungler backing, quickly tell him to turn back and push with you. Uh huh. You oh. want this wave to reset, right? Yeah. <laughs> you, you can't have, um, this wave freezing towards Kaisa. What happens if it freezes towards Kaisa? Then I uh, get screwed. Yeah, you get screwed because you can't farm anymore. If you try to farm, the Kaisa will walk up, give you the two auto attack of forty AD increase. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Then my dad jungle was there. That's fucking sad, actually. <laughs>
she's going AP. Yeah, like I, I don't. Normally, I wouldn't feel safe um, pushing there because their okay. jungler can come in and like one shot anyone. You tell me she's clearing every minion. Okay, she she popped out. Yeah, she shouldn't be doing that. Right? She can deny me more if she just lets it push towards her, right? Ah, but she isn't trying to deny you. Yeah, she was just, <laughs> she's silver, so. She wish she has BF sword. Morgana? Morgana did some crazies. Well, didn't she have enough gold for BF sword? But she, she did. She <laughs> bought pickaxe and two daggers. That pickaxe, two daggers is 1.5k, by the way. So, or 1.4k ish. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that's worse than buying just BF sword. Yeah. Well. It's just your AD by 15, so... And Kai'Sa already has an attack speed bonus. Mm hmm Okay. Now, this is weird because, hold on. You can play this fight better. If I didn't use E on Kai'Sa earlier, then I would've... Okay. Been better. This is what you should have done. Okay. Um, let's go back Bef after you killed Lux. Okay, the moment you kill Lux, right? You saw your HP bar like this, mm -hmm. you're stuck. You're going to get stuck down, so you will effectively lose this HP bar in one second. So what you can do is jump. Jump away. Jump, then she will be forced to flash. Correct? Like, she will be forced to follow your flash. Ah, oh, she wants it, right? Yeah, she wants the kill. Very juicy. But if, if she flash forward, meaning she can't run away anymore. You can just stand on her after that. Mm -hmm. But what if she does kill because, me? Yeah. I'm sorry? Oh, I, I guess she does die. I mean, I guess I get killed, but then Morgana gets a return kill. Okay. There's, there's a slight chance that you won't die. Why? Look at this. This guy is in front of Kai'Sa. Uh -huh. oh, so yeah. if you jump back, if you jump back, this Kai'Sa will try to either greet, then you can just walk back, walk back. <laughs> Let, Kaisa, let the Morgana auto attack. Uh -huh. So wait for Kaisa to turn on Morgana, then you um, come back okay. to auto her. But if she starts to auto Morgana automatically after you jump, then you can auto her. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Because, yeah. Right. Yeah, your, your jump is very long. Okay. I think you can jump like around here. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean this is this is pretty how do I say risky since you had no proper items against her. Yeah. So yeah, jumping forward. I didn't I didn't know if I was gonna kill her or not. I wasn't. I was just guessing. Yeah, I, you you did a fifty fifty play, so yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But uh, the the most optimal play is jump backwards so your support tanks the the Kaisa and you can kill the Kaisa. Okay. Or the Kaisa will try to flash forward for you, which is very bad for her. Mm -hmm. Or she just runs away. Yeah, or she just runs away and you take the trade. Oh. Is she staying? Oh, no. It's... Oh. I don't kill her. Cause I didn't. My ward was on cooldown. <laughs> That was unlucky. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Now this is where it gets bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you think will happen in the next 30 seconds? Or she one get, minute? She gets level 6 and then kills me. Right? 
Or she, yeah, she, I feel Maybe. like she can come. What about the wave? The wave. I'll crash into my tower. I lose it all. Oh, it'll, so slow, it'll slow push towards them. Yeah. And Kaisa will come back with more farm to take. And you? No HP. Yeah. Right. I think I just back so, off. Yeah. I think you have to click, take this wave and back off instantly. But you can't because you're too low. Yeah. Oh! You have to say thank you to Lux. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, okay. because she, she let it reset. Yeah, she let it reset. Uh, well, I... Hey, she I, didn't... Yeah. <laughs> there, there's no way they know anything about what you managed. Yeah. Yeah, but if she didn't kill these three minions, this wave will stop at the... Um, at the mage minions. Mm. But he has resetted to, back to the center. Okay, as an AD carry, learning wave management will help you win the learning phase, 100%. Wait, so what exactly would, should Lux ha should have done? So, Let's go back here, right? Yeah. She shouldn't kill this. Because if she kills this, um, all of her minions will walk front, okay? You see? Look at here. Uh -huh. Look. All the minions... Are back here. You see? Are behind you. Are they in range? Are they in range of the turret? No. No, right? So what happens? This wave will oh. come stops here. It will stop so the minion line, yeah. It, the minion line will be here. So it will reinforce. Then your minion will come. It will push here. Come. And it will slowly stack up where Kaisa will get the entire wave. So her killing these three minions is very bad. It reset the entire wave for you guys. Because this turret managed to kill all these three minions on time. Mm -hmm. That's what Lux should have done. I see. Should Kaisa not be hard pushing? Or should she? If she wants the wave to reset back to her, then yes. Mm. Because the wave was already in in their favor, but she decided to to auto attack more. Mm -hmm. There, she could just let these minions die. The wave will be center, like around here. You push back towards her. I think she just wanted to get the tower plating. Yeah. Okay, you should only, uh, assuming your Kaisa, you okay. should only do that, like, keep on hard shoving, if you know the AD carry wants to recall. Uh. As long the AD carry has no goal to recall, you can keep on freezing here, as Kaisa. Okay. Because why? You can make three loose more CS, right? He's okay. very prone to get all in. So okay. yeah. So you only want to keep hard shoving over and over if you want to keep them in lane yeah if you want to keep them in lane okay but if they can't if they have to stay in lane because they have no gold then they will just get zone off right they can only get the exp okay. or for some people they will try to brute force in like brute force break the turret i mean uh. to break brute force to pull the wave sorry okay but they know they can't do that because why? Kaisa is fat. You're not fat. Mm -hmm. So if you try to push the wave, the Kaisa will just use her Q or minions and you guys will have the same amount of minions. Yeah. Volley Bear shows up. <laughs> Yoink. It would have been okay if he didn't, but I should have thought about it. Oh, this is very bad. Yeah. 
you have to eat this. Uh, so I if want... you see Christ, uh, you want to push this. You have to reset this. You want this. You you want the wave to push back towards you. Okay. Okay. She's dead, right? You have you have about forty seconds. Um, around like ten seconds to get back to the lane. And thirty seconds for the wave to come. Okay, so slow pushing is not good here because it'll get yeah. stuck on their side. Yeah, you get stuck on their side. See, you see what happens. Yeah. Wait, where are the fuck? Where where did Lux go? Ah. Uh. Yeah, they went to get trained. Oh no. At least the wave is pushing back towards you. <laughs> That's what you want. But if Lux was No, there's there's no reason for Lux to be here. Oh Black got caught out. Yeah, I think they probably were like pinging dragon and wanted to just get it. So they all went here. Uh Tisha I have hold the wave. Mm -hmm. You can just freeze. Is it a good policy to make sure your your wave is in a good state before you do anything else? Yes. Okay. If your wave is in a good state, you gain plus one decision. Uh -huh. You are allowed to make any decision, but only one time. Okay. Uh -huh. Assuming you gain priority, you get priority, right? You get plus one decision. So whatever you do, let's say, okay, let's swap their blue. That's mm -hmm. minus one decision. You got away with it. But if you suddenly, okay, let's swap blue, then let's do dragon. What happens? There's two decisions. Yeah, and they you get... minus two. The wave, they can just push. They can mm -hmm. push back, they can force you to calm down. So yeah. you will lose some of your minions. Because some of the minions will start to hit the turret. That's not what you want. That's why you can only get one plus decision. If okay. you get priority. Okay. okay. Only okay. one decision. Do not be greedy for more. Okay. Okay. You choose one decision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Okay, because once you reach diamond, right, people will start to feel like priority is like plus five decision. <laughs> so they will try to they will try to overgrip for everything. Like okay, um, let's say mid lane, right? Mid lane is the easiest to show example. You gain priority, uh -huh. then suddenly you invade. <laughs> you invade, right? With your jungler, you put on watch, you take raptors. Then what? Then what? Most mid will try to do is like go deeper or something. Like with mm -hmm. the jungler. Then the wave, what the enemy mid can do is crash the wave back. What happens? It will push back towards him with a good wave. Uh -huh. That's not what you want. You want to keep the priority in on your side on your side. Then there's fake priority. Okay. People who are freezing doesn't mean the enemy has priority. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so if the wave is being freezed against you, you don't have priority. Yeah, because the enemy mid, what they can do, they can roam, but would the wave push towards him, or, or will he remain the same? Which one? Okay. Do you understand, like, if the lane is being frozen, the lane mm. will stay here forever. Uh -huh. Because the enemy is trying to freeze. So if you roam, like if you roam, it's it, you will lose more exp than he will lose anything uh -huh. because it, if you if you fail this roll it's over right um if but if what if they freeze it and you just can't get any cs or whatever is it better just to stay and get the xp than try to do something else have your jungler this is what junglers are for oh uh, you just have your you, jungler break the freeze yeah tell your jungler okay jungler come mate come board please break this freeze from me they won't say no. Why? Oh, they get all the CS they want to get. Uh -huh. <laughs> they will be more than happy. 
This is what we call short term loss, long term gain. Okay? okay. Because you do not want to lose gold, so you make sure the lane, um, the lane is broken for their freeze. Okay. okay. Another thing, because if they freeze, you roam. He can roam as well. Right. Mm-hmm. This yeah. lane will not change. He's happy to roam with you. Uh-huh. Because you lose more, he can just keep on freezing forever. Uh-huh. Yeah. So if you're and, freezing yeah. and they go to roam, is it better just to keep it freezing or to try to push it? It depends. It, this is what we call look at their decision. Okay, if they walk towards, okay, they, if they walk over this line, that's um, minus two decision. Because why? They are going for bot lane, right? Uh-huh. Correct. If they only appear here, they put down ward and come back. That's only plus one decision. I mean minus one decision. Okay. So if they can just come back and take the wave. So you you do not want that. You want to only free. Okay. You want to only push as a freezing laner only if they can't catch the wave on time. Uh huh. Yeah. Like they they overstep. They maybe go to top or they are helping their jungler at their red buff. So you hard shove. Make sure it crashes. Then you walk back. Then you can just repeat because it was slow push back towards you, right? Mm-hmm. But slow push back towards you. So you repeat. You freeze. Look at his decision making again. If he does the same shit, push, repeat. But if he does like only awarding, then you keep on freezing. If you're a winning champion, that is. Okay. But of course, some some champions would want you to gain priority. Let's say you want to take dragon, right? It doesn't make sense for you to freeze. So you have to hard shove. So you get get dragon. That's one decision. Then you have to go back after your um hard shove because you have to catch the wave, right? You do not want to lose more than one wave. Losing one wave is fine. Okay. okay. Or half a wave, that's fine. Or a good objective. Okay. okay. Yeah. Understand so far? Or do you have any questions to confirm something? Like, do you have to confirm anything? Um, I understand. Okay. My God, watching this Kaisa play hurts my. <laughs> so she doesn't want to hard shove that. She should, but she can just perform a freeze anytime she wants to. She can just make your life miserable with this item. <laughs> Look yeah. at your item. Just sitting on a pickaxe, but she's giving you free farm. Yeah. I guess she was baiting for Lux, maybe. I don't think that was spitting. I don't think you guys should ever fight with good, with enemy having a green so. Yeah. Yeah. You call get bail so. Okay, this is what happens if you recall. This is short term loss, but it's better than staying. And for nothing. Because if yeah. I stay, they can kill me and they get the same amount of whatever tower damage. Mm-hmm. Yikes. What's the gold difference right now for me and guys? Oh my god, K. it's almost 2k. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Oh. That's why this game is very hard to vote because I can only explain to you about the waves. What the Kaisa is doing is giving you free farm. Mm-hmm. What, uh, her, what she can do is make you stay at 20 CS. <laughs> That, that's what she can do. She can just freeze here because she has so much lead. Like, I would be so happy as Kaisa to like just freeze. Because why? I have a scaling mid laner. I have a scaling AD carry. And I have like two tanks. Yeah, she doesn't need to go for anything uncertain. Right? Mm-hmm. Yep. She okay. can just make the Tristana be forced to lose in scaling power. Because she will start to lose Mogul, Mogul. And when mid game comes, what happens? She has like two items, three, one item, or maybe not even an item yet. Yeah. So yeah, then they are forced to fight. Like they can just force engage on you guys. Kaisa will be so- too strong for you guys. Mm-hmm. So yeah.
kinds of things. That's push and recall. Yeah, she doesn't have any mana. Uh, why, why are you guys speaking off? Is there jung no, there jungle is here. Yeah, but I, okay. if, if Lux hits one Q or... One bind, or, yeah. Yeah, it's over. You guys have exhaust heal flash though. Okay. <laughs> why, why, why did you guys just stay under turret? And if she walks up, just ask Morgana to like find her close range, then exhaust the Kaisa. Then she can just flash out. Mm. I guess so. Um, you can, it, it's you can heal her as well. I think it's worth it too. I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't know if we could kill her there, but. Okay, but you guys already lost too much, right? So you have to okay, go for something. Uh, you guys are bleeding. You guys are being scared of everything. Mm -hmm. But assuming you guys are the same level, right? Um, like maybe only like 500 gold down, you guys 100% go for the play. But the play you guys can make is abuse these slugs, trying to be like she's the alpha. <laughs> because so if... Look, the, the turret isn't dropping that fast. So if you guys can all in her again one more time, it takes like 4 seconds to kill her, right? Mm -hmm. Your the jump ulti and all. Yeah, she has no flash as well. She burned that flash before. Okay. Yeah, I, I just thought yeah. they could one-shot us if they hit anything. That's why I went off. But I guess we could but have she has no up. mana. Only all Lux right. can burst. Yeah. All right. Okay, unless unless it's driven, then I understand. Okay, because driven is reliant on auto attacks, not abilities. But Kaisa, uh -huh. she relies on her abilities and her autos. She yeah. is both. She's two in one. Okay. Okay. Then let's say misfortune. Misfortune is the same. She isn't an auto attack based champion. She's an ability based champion. So if you know somehow her kit is on cooldown, you have the chance to go in. Yeah, I have, Correct? Tr I have trouble going against Misfortune a lot. You have trouble because he's, po he's poking you too much, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then she but hits the one trick is, Yeah, but the trick is, once she uses most of her abilities, you have like 7 seconds window to go in. Alright. That's the good part of fighting against Misfortune. She's her auto attack is only high damage for one time. Okay. Yeah, but the, my she support. She doesn't feel any attack rate. Hmm? My support also has to know that, right? Or... Yeah, your yeah, yeah, support has to know that as well. I guess I have to ping or something, or yeah. write stuff in chat. Maybe maybe just type in chat like the moment Miss Fortune use her. Her Q. What what is the E ability called? Or Q or E? Q like, e is the the slow circle thing. Yeah. Q is the one that does half your HP from a minion. Yep. So you only all you need to do is stand away from me from a minion. Let's say she misses her Q. What does that mean? That's your Q, right? Yeah. That's your Q to go in. Yeah. So you tell your support the moment Miss Fortune misses Q, that's our Q to go in. That's our chance to go aggressive. Okay. okay? Because you cannot let her keep on controlling you like that. That's not how it works. Okay? Yeah. Play the cooldown game. If she misses ability, let's say Lux, right? Lux misses Q. Correct? Yeah. The moment he misses Q, what happens? Uh, she's she cannot... vulnerable. She can't peel. Yeah. Her, so. Yeah, she can't peel. Same goes to Miss Fortune. If she misses her Q, she cannot out damage you. Okay. Unless you're, unless you're Jinx. Because both of those champions can't do anything. Uh, if you're champions like Kalista, Champion like trees, champions who can burst them mm -hmm. after they use their ability, then she'll go ahead. Should I? Was that a bad recall or no? Sorry? Was that recall okay? Or should I? It's okay because you got your item spike. Okay. Because if you stayed at. BF, BX, you won't have increased critical and you won't even have a chance to crit. Yeah. Okay. So, 
Oh my god, they just threw. Yeah, this is why I thought the game was winnable. But. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a hit. Yeah. Oh, she's going AP, what the hell? What, Lux? No, no, no. Kaisa is going AP. Oh. Maybe she hasn't played in a while. I don't know, man. I don't want to relay. Uh, it doesn't make sense to go AP anymore. Her, her APK got nerfed. Yeah. Well, I guess Lux, I mean, Kaisa didn't know that. <laughs> so what do you think is the, what do you think is the reason why Kaisa only has 100 CS now? Is it because she kept trying to not freeze or not let it so push miss, her? She missed a lot of minions while she was trying to push you. I saw her miss miss about two cannons without you doing anything. Uh, so that's a lot from just Mechanical misplay. Yeah. She she tries to hard shove, but she missed some of it. Okay. She should have like 100 CS above you or something. With that yeah. huge of a lead, level 1, level 2. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I like about Jinx. It's harder to miss minions. Jinx. For Jinx, you just have to freeze. Against okay, against hyper carries, AD carry. If you manage to freeze against them, they're fucked. They have what does hyper carry have in common? They have to scale, and they have weaker early game. Uh huh. And they're immobile, right? Yeah. Oh so yeah. Every every hyper carry is immobile early, except Vin. Vin. Uh, Vin. Okay, Vin isn't really mobile. Only her Q is mobile. Yeah. So if you freeze towards them, it's over. Assuming you're not playing another hyper carry, because if you play hyper versus hyper, it's better support wins, basically. Uh. Because okay, there's three types of AD carries: um, caster, um, hyper, and I guess should I call it a third? <laughs> And the early game medic carry, which is the bully. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I call it bully, yeah? because some champions are are not any of this. Like Draven, Draven isn't caster, isn't a hyper carry. He, he's just a champion that bullies the lane. So champions like Draven. Yeah. I mean, Draven can hyper carry. If I, he can do, if he gets quite ahead, he will just two shot everyone. Okay, but that's not hyper carry. That's being too fat. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah so, if you so... want to talk. About, Hmm? What what to what to what find the hyper, hyper carry? Yeah. Okay. It's either they have HP damage. Okay. HP what, damage. What does HP uh, damage mean? Um. You know, Cop more W. Kaisa passive. Oh yeah. Pain W. Oh, percent HP and like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. HP damage. Okay. HP damage. Uh. They have splash damage. Who has splash damage? Jinx. Jinx. Uh, that's all I can. Do. Uh, oh, it. Trit. Yeah, she has a little bit. Um, Twitch has his ulti and runes. Right. Yeah. See, these champions have something in common. They can, in HP damage, they can splash. Cause Jinx with runes, if you use your Q, that's your crazy. splash will deal a lot of damage. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it can stack onto each other, which is stupid. Mm. But it takes a long time to scale, which is XD. Trace has the Q buff. So she can proc her E very fast. So she will outspeed a lot of AD carries. Mm -hmm. But if we look at casters, it's like um, Lucian. Israel. Um, who else? Uh, MF Varus yeah. Varus mm -hmm. isn't a hyper carry because his W, right? His W is the HP damage, right? Mm -hmm. But it can only be propped by abilities Right So if he uses Q and E recklessly 
it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> the tablet is basically useless. Well, he has to know when to use his Q and well, W. Yeah, his yeah his W has an active t too, so it's not just the HP thing. Oh yeah, those are casters, and there's bully, which is Draven, Kalista. Actually, some champions can fit into two rows. Lucian. Yeah. What do you think? Okay. Caitlyn is. Caitlyn is definitely under hyper carry because of the hit shot, but yeah. she can be played as bully as well. Mm -hmm. But bully means her bully style is different from the rest. Her yeah. bully is keep on shoving the waves and hitting them under turret because she has the range. But Draven, Kalista, Lucian, they want to freeze and they want to have the long long chase back to their own turret. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Lucian and the, the other bullies have more burst than Caitlyn, I think. Mm -hmm. okay. So they are much stronger than Caitlyn in terms of um, long trips. Right. K K Caitlyn cannot fight them. Caitlyn cannot fight any of them because his her kid is meant for si sieging. Okay. Uh -huh. And if she can't land her hit shots, she doesn't have enough damage. Okay, I forget one more. That's utility. Utility. Utility? Who are they? Ash, Jing, uh, Jin. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Varus is included because of uh, of his ultimate. Sivir uh -huh. is included. CV can, yeah, CV can be considered as a hyper carry because of her W. Right. Her W, you throw one time, it crits, Everyone. and the rest of the W will crit. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, utility. What is utility? Go at level six, right? So they can coordinate the, um, the junglers to dive at level six. So mm. to break it down, hyper carry will get stronger each level. Okay. Bully will get weaker um, after le after the, hy the hyper carries get like three items. So bully is on the timer. Okay. So bully goes weaker based on timer. Utility mm -hmm. will get weaker if uh, yeah, if their teammates can't do anything. Teammates. Mm -hmm. Like the teammate doesn't play around Ash ultimate. Like let's say the Ash throws ultimate, right? Then no one can kill that person. So like you engage, but no one can kill. So you lose your purpose as AD carry. Mm -hmm. Okay, but Ash can be considered as, as a hyper carry because yeah. she has the Q. Yeah. Right. But Jin, as a champion, Jin is a normal AD carry. Comes late game. Because his damage only comes online when they are low HP. The pump shot deals based on missing HP. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, those type of AD carries. They have their own strength, that's why you play towards their strength. Mm -hmm. Which trees, trees can be played as two depending on who he's up against. If he ups, if he's fighting against Bully, then he has to play the hyper carry style. That's it back. If he's fighting against Jinx, Kaisa, go ahead, play the bully style. Freeze. The moment Kaisa steps in, E, jump, then activate your attack speed buff. Okay. So you can kill her, yeah. So so what did you okay. say, Um, if you're in a hyper carry versus hyper carry, what, what is the objective? For... Hi hyper versus hyper, right, is depending yeah. on support and jungle. Because oh. if you can freeze against a hyper carry, the hy hyper carry will be threatened to get ganked. Okay. okay. So there's more chance of him dying than you dying. Right. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So it's depending on the support and the jungle on how they want to abuse the enemy hyper carry. Let's say they, let's say they have a Kotmo, you have a Jinx. Obviously, whichever AD carry is getting pushed up, it's over for them, right? Mm -hmm. Like the moment the jungle come. The AD carry has to waddle away, but that the buffer speed is like 3 to 5, 3 to I mean, it's 3, three to 5, I think, yeah. For normal AD carry, the hyper carry, they have like 3 to 0-ish. 
I can't see the fucking base. Okay, that's bullshit. <clears throat> yeah, I can't see the base. But it's around 3 to 5. Okay. Should I not be bot right now? You think you can defend this turret? Not really. Yeah. So, what's your answer? No. You should be. Yeah. Should, I, bottling. should I push it into their tower? Or. I think I. Yes. Okay. As long as you see them at mid lane, you should. I think what I do is I push. Maybe. No, oh yeah, I don't push and I go to try to kill Lux. And I do get it. But. <laughs> you did. <laughs> That's surprising, holy shit. Wait, why is the re Aha, that's surprising. But I would rather get the entire turret. Yeah, getting the turret is um, more consistent, I think. Because Lux, if, if Lux just like backed off, then that would just waste my time. What code do you have? Oh, this was sad. I th I thought I could because I saw her use her Q on the wave. And I didn't use my <laughs> ulti. Look at this item. <laughs> I know, it was it was sort of <laughs> close, sort of. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that's why I feel like the things you could do is negated by yeah. the early game. Because right. she got too fat. Yeah. So if this game was equal and you did that, that was a 100% the correct play. I would 100% support you. But mm -hmm. the early game was too much for you. Right. Let's see how much gold that she has over here. Hmm. 2,000. Yeah. 1.8k. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, let, let, let's see what, what you could have done better there. I could have just cleared the wave and not let her get tower. Oh, I could also... I didn't use my LT. Okay, maybe this is how you should have done. <clears throat> Let's slow down a bit. Okay. Oh, shit! What? I accidentally clicked backspace. That's fine. Okay. Just remember, you're fighting a fully stacked going source. <laughs> <laughs> okay? What if? Here. Here is a chance. Right here, okay? She casts a dark E. This is where you uh, fight. Uh, her, you think her E is higher value than her Q? It's an on hit, Kaisa. Alright. So, she. She doesn't have Gwinsu stack, and she just used her E, so I can fight her. And her Q isn't upgraded. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, because it's AP Kai'Sa. It's not AD Kai'Sa. Well, I don't I don't know enough about Kai'Sa to know if her Q is upgraded, but... Okay. Q requires 100 bonus attack damage. Okay. Okay. And I w, can just... uh, w requires ability damage. 100 oh. AP. E, okay. at attack speed. 100% attack speed. Okay. So, even if you take the full damage of kill, it's not really a lot. Uh -huh. But her E is the most important part. Okay. Oh, because she has Gunsus. Uh -huh. okay. You do not want to fight a fully stacked Gunsus. If you fight her now, I feel you should you should win. Hmm. Because first, she doesn't have inv invisibility anymore. Right. She, that that's why she, so, that's why she won when I went in because I couldn't hear her when she was invis. Yeah. It, this is where the itemization matters, right? Like, you need to understand some champions require going to stack. Let's say Vayne. You do not want to fight Vayne at 6 stacks. That's impossible for anyone to win. No one has ever dealt against a 6 item Jinx. I mean, 6 stack Jinx on going to... Uh, 6 stack Vayne, you mean? Yeah, 6 stacks. Uh, okay. On going Okay, you see one hit. Actually, actually, she popped two time on her first hit. 
you went in at the wrong time, I guess. I or unlucky time. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, that's her first attack, right? The second attack were were proc the green souls. Huh? two stacks. Hmm. Yeah. Next is one stack. Next is two stacks. Yeah. Uh, she she won because of the six stacks. That's mm. basically it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. lucky, man. I need to yeah. think more about enemy items. I don't usually think about that. Fast forward. I feel this game. It's not really watchable anymore because. Everything you do in mid game is determined by the early game. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, things we, yeah, think... They have to mess up a lot for for us to win, right? Definitely. Your Ari is getting out. What the hell is this complete blade? <laughs> Wait, what? Gunblade blood. <laughs> yeah, baby. Interesting. Uh, okay. No lanes is exactly winning. Yeah. Jungle losing, mid losing, bot lane, uh, I guess sort of losing, yeah, losing. Top is losing. Uh, three losing lanes and you guys are getting outskilled. Mm -hmm. They have two scaling. Yeah, so there's no more winning in this game. Okay. We have another game where we can watch your landing phase. Yeah. You said you, you sent uh, the wrong game, right? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll upload this one. I downloaded the right one. Okay. It'll take a minute. That was pretty helpful, though. There was a lot of stuff I didn't know about, about landing and wave management. Okay, you can share the link. Okay, to learn proper wave management, right? There's a YouTuber that does it. Okay. You can take your time to like understand fully how to do wave management. He does it with. Oh shit. You can. Are you downloading the game right now? Uh, it's. I already posted it in chat. Okay. Yeah, I just link it here. It, Okay. It's a it's a series. And it so applies can, applies to any lane. Yeah, it applies to any lane. You just have to like adapt it to AD carry style. Mm -hmm. Because AD carry is support, right? So the support can help you hard shot faster. Like you can tell your support support help me to hard shot this wave for me to reset. But top and mid they're alone. They have to know if their ability is enough to shove the lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So this next game is the one I was typing in chat about where I got really ahead but then we lost. Okay. For this game, let's try to use the knowledge that I taught you and you can try to apply it to this game. Like explain to me how do you think the lane should be simulated and how the wave should be. Okay. Okay? So to confirm that you are really learning. Okay. Yeah. My thrush was he got some crazy hooks and then that's pretty much what I, I guess one trick yeah yeah I one trick. <laughs> and then I queued with him after this and then he played terrible for like four games straight <laughs> I see it was funny he said he was drunk yikes it's, it's right one of the games I thought was a normal game but it was ranked <laughs> <laughs> so I wasn't trying that hard I see it was Okay, explain, explain to me, how do you think this thing should work? Uh, let's, I feel like we should, we can try to have it, we want on our side, so Thresh can get hooked, so slow push the first wave, let it bounce back, um, and then, Why? so, so it's, um, on to our side of the lane. And I can safely farm. Mm -hmm. And Thresh can look for hooks. 
Okay. And do I want to be on the side of Ezreal or Bard? I think, I think I, I think Bard because if I'm on the same side as Ezreal, it's easier for him to hit Qs, right? Okay, but you're going for key lane, right? Mm hmm Are you going for farm lane or key lane? Which is easier Bar to kill? Bard. Bard, so... Oh, oh, so I want Thresh to be on the same side as Bard. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So all you have to do is play with your minions to dodge the Israel kill. Like, you can okay. play in and out with your minions. Okay. You don't have to, like, exactly... Okay, you don't have to exactly stand away from your minions, okay? You can just play in the center here. Okay. Because the wave will be split into one, two, three. One, two, three. League of Legends has algorithm. Okay, they always do this. You can see the back back wave minion would do this line. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can stand here. But the wave will still be in center, so you walk back and forth here. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now tell me at what level should you guys start fighting and why? Uh, level, level one is not bad because Ezreal doesn't have his E. Uh, level two, that's look at the Keystone. Uh, Lethal Tempo versus Klepto. Oh, he is an Electrocute. So they have higher, higher burst. I don't, I don't they know. definitely have higher burst. Yeah, yeah. So we have a better. Long. I you guys know. have a better long trade. Yeah. Cause but <clears throat> it's a burst damage. So if they go in on Thresh, it's good for you. Yeah, cause I can free hit, and mm -hmm. Thresh can get his aftershock. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you get hit, it's over. You have little tempo. Little tempo is better for long. Um, long term fights. These mm -hmm. two wants to fight short term. And how to fight short term? Level 1 is the easiest. Because level 1, nobody can all in each other. There's no champion that can all in each other. Mm -hmm. So, short, short term will win. Level 1. Right. That's why Draven and Lucian, these champions look for short term trades. Because they will always win the level 1, level 2 trades. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Trash, Jinx, level 3 onwards. Play, Lantern, Hooks, um, Snare from your E. W from a slow, right. Q, rocket, yeah. Oh, All of see, these see. are long, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now you're starting on. You're starting to understand short term versus long term trades. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Dra Draven also want, can do long term too, right? He can do short term yep. and long term. Yeah, that's why. That's why no nobody can fight him. He's the only champion that wins both. Oh, He's the the champion is designed to play for lane. Okay, yeah. that champion is obnoxiously strong, but yeah. the downfall is it's very hard to pilot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a good Draven can climb to like Challenger very fast. You can see all those OTP Draven, like good Draven, they will climb to Challenger real fast because mm -hmm. why? They will keep on winning the laning phase. It's right. very hard to lose the laning phase. What? They can only lose if their support is freaking in thing, or the enemy jungle just scams the Draven. Mm hmm Yeah. That's I ban Draven every game, so <laughs> I don't I don't worry about him too much. I don't think I've I've won lane against Draven maybe one time ever. But it, it wasn't because of me. <laughs> I see. So you know this lane you want the lane to push back towards you, right? Yeah. I don't I don't think I don't know if I did that, probably not, but Oh my god. Okay. <coughs> look, look look at the short term trade. Holy he just shit. lost three bar health three bar of health. From one uh, yeah, ability. Rock, yeah. uh. One ability, one auto. He procs electro cute. Uh -huh. I shouldn't should I not be walking up this far? You shouldn't. Yeah, because I don't have minions. Hmm? They they managed to get the advantage. Okay. So it is pushing no. towards me, right? Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's funny because the way he's trading, right? He's screwing up himself. He's what not... he did at level one, he's screwing up himself. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah. 
like what he should have done is assuming it's a good bot player. Right? He had a ton of mastery on board. I guess it doesn't mean he's good. Okay, look, the moment he overstep, right? Uh -huh. That's his mistake. Because why? Even if he autos, look at the minions. Uh, Everyone yeah. is in detection range. Uh, I guess I don't take minions that much into account when I trade. I guess I underestimate their damage. Ouch. You just reset that your own lane. Hmm. I guess not, since they're pushing it back. Hmm. In this case, it'd be good to just match their push, right? Yeah. It's good to match their push. Which you're unconsciously doing it. Mm -hmm. Is he die? Yeah, the Ezra will die. Ah, uh, ah, uh, please don't push. You have to thin this wave. I have to kill it? No. Okay. No, don't, don't. Okay. Don't let it touch your turret, okay? Next oh. time, if you want to freeze because you can, you cannot buy anything, right? As a champion. Mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. can buy anything. That's why you have to freeze this. Because if it comes back, he still has his support, right? So you can't push to this turret. Mm -hmm. So it's very unrealistic that you get this wave to the turret. And he has a tiny item advantage too, right? Uh. And the HP advantage. <laughs> Okay. So you want to keep on freezing because you have to pee, you have to play safe because Israel now has items that he can abuse, but it isn't damage items, it's just utility. No. But, okay, this is where it gets screwed up. The line of minions change because this wave will die fast, meaning your wave will stack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't, you do not want that to happen. Unless you guys manage to get a lucky hook on somebody. Hmm. I think he does get a good hook. He, he, he gets some hooks. But is that mid lane? Oh, thank god. Yeah, so... Does this mean I want a hard push that we see Bard in mid lane? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Bard was... Like AF, he was not helping Ezreal at all. Should you should push this? Hey, th this is what I was talking about, yeah. You mm -hmm. build up a big wave. Right. If Bart was if Bart was here, he can freeze it together with Ezreal. Then you're screwed, cause your trash is now low. Mhm. Mm but since Bart isn't here, you have free reign to rocket. Yeah. Rocket the back wave. Uh, just rocket it and recoil. I don't think you can do anything. Oh my god. Oh, okay, that works. If you get the plating here, it will be so worth. Maybe. Yeah, you get, you get it? No, I but, think I, huh? I, I leave because I see Bard coming and I thought he could just go through there. Yeah. I thought that I, I would die if I stayed too long. Against a bot. Yeah. I, mean, I don't he... think so. You, you have your heal. I think it's it's but. <laughs> I guess it depends. It... Yeah. You think it's worth the trade by heal or summoners for that plating? Do you think you get all in by a bot? Yeah. I think I could. Interesting. Could. Because if I'm way too far up, he can stun me on a tower or whatever. Uh, actually, you have to. Maybe not. Yeah, uh, maybe not. 
don't know. I was just scared. Being, I was just being extra yeah. safe. It's fine. Yeah, because now your items. Oh, you can, oh, nice bear shot by. Okay, I actually didn't see the bear shot by. Yeah, because I got the two assists. Two assists is hundred fifty gold, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So assuming you don't have this minion, I mean you don't have the gold, right? You try minus hundred fifty, hundred fifty, because each assist is hundred fifty. Ish. Mm. So you will have around hundred. You will have around 1k gold So if you have 42 gold at 5 minutes you should have enough mm -hmm. Because 1 kill equal to like 13 CS or 12 CS Because this cannon, if you get every cannon right Meaning 42 CS will be enough But if you don't get cannon then it won't be enough mm -hmm. so yeah, 42 CS I have to hard shove this. Create a slow push again. Mm. You can create the the slow the slow push because why? Uh, the wave in your favor. Right. Yeah. So and kill also, these minions. And also, we don't want a hard push because their jungler is right there. I think I think maybe we saw. Her. Did we? No, I don't know. I don't think that's all. Yeah, nobody saw. Nobody knew. Okay, you you click the wrong minions. Mm-hmm. I should be cleaning the the caster ones. Okay. Let's say you click the casters, right? If you click the casters, you will have your front this front will still survive and your front will still survive as well but you lost like three of them three mini i'm not sure i think you lost like three mini minions uh, to the casters okay you want you want as many mini as possible <laughs> so they can tank for the um they can tank for the mage minions to hit the turret mm -hmm. oh my god yes, yes. Mm. disgusting players <laughs> Yeah, but I, in Ezreal's defense, his support was not helping him at all. He couldn't really do much. Except wait. Three plating. Good. Oh, shit. Uh... Clear this wave, then you need to back off. Back, please, please, no, <laughs> no more. <laughs> think maybe, uh, maybe we, we survive? Uh, oh. I think I kill. Oh, oh yeah. no. I kill the least. I think. Yeah, I get to. What the f? It's because I, I had okay, my passive stacked and uh, item advantage and threshes I had too. That's why. Did they all in on trash instead of here? Mm. Yeah, I guess because he's closer. You go for level 6. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Bard is level 4. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, no one has damage yep. on their team. Okay, in a proper scenario, right? Hmm. If you want to gain more lead, assuming they didn't take this gang, okay, there's no gang here. Gonna recall. You can clear this wave, recall, because why? The line of minions will be here, right? They were re reinforced first. So this is like the Kai'Sa versus Trace game. Right now you're in the driver's seat of the Kai'Sa, correct? Mm -hmm. So you can you can do what the Kai'Sa didn't, freeze. If it's just, if it's just tries to walk up, what can Trace do? Just walk up, chase him, then if 
Is your tries to turn, just throw a hook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you can just zone Ezreal off of everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, just leave the minion be. Let them recite the minion line. Yikes, man. You guys get the turret? No, I Got all the playthings in 10 minutes. Mm. Oh, there's one more, right? The one where you kill it. One more. watch your mid game instead because watching this because you didn't know that you should pros and the Israel is like giving up so many times for no reason mm. so uh, this is fine let's see what oh, happened in mid game I, I, die. I think I die to yeah I give, I give up this huge bounty to Israel I think Overstay. Because you guys dived. No, I don't think we. I, I don't think we dived, but yeah, this happened. What? Oh no, it's after this. We get that, and then I overstay. She flash, flash on me. Or she doesn't. Ah. One key goal. I, I should have thought hmm? about Ezreal coming back. That would have saved me. I mean, you could you could have won that if Elise didn't stun you. Yeah, if I stayed behind the minions, I went up to hit her greedy, not thinking about it. Yeah, it, it, the situation could be could have been in your favor since you're that fat. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is what I was talking about, the plus one, plus two agent, right? Plus one, plus two, minus one, etc. So you, this is what people are greedy about. They get their plus one, right? They try to like increase it to plus two. Uh -huh. Then they get punished for it. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So always know that. Each time you're in the lead, right? You only get plus one. Mm -hmm. You only get to do good one plus one play. Then to back off. Okay. Like what the trash did, it's always a plus one decision. Like if he tries to hook anymore and he's slow, he might die for it. So mm -hmm. it's a 50 50 decision. Okay, what should I do now? Should, should I... recall and go to top lane. Okay. If you're trash, obviously. Eh? Oh, actually, go mid. Go mid lane. Go mid. Take referral together. Because um, yeah, Kane can't defend the mid turret. You want to break the mid turret as soon as possible. You only mm. go top if you want to extend the leaning phase a little bit more, and you can break this turret alone. And if their mid is like a wave clear mid laner like Victor Zaraf. Then obviously you can't break the mid turret easily. You need referral, right? To break those cough mid laners like Zeraf. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it doesn't make sense to go mid. Because most mid has a wave clear. That's why they go to top lane. Since they have nothing to do at bot lane. If you stay at bot lane, you are prone to getting ganked. So you think we should go mid here? Yeah, mid is the easiest. Because, okay. okay, ADCs, right? They are weaker than bruisers level 9 to 14. 9 to 14. Do you, do you, do you have, okay, have you seen a bruiser one shotting uh, like a 5-0 AD carry? Yeah. Around that time, eh? Yeah. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you want to avoid. Then some ADC will say, um, ADC in 2K19, those kind of memes. Yeah. That, because AD carry, they don't have more stats than, uh, 
a bruiser. Because mm. if you look at all your HP bar, right? He has, mm. he has everything higher than you. But because you're too fat, you have IE, there's pure sojin. Only your AD is higher. But ev- everything else is higher. Mm-hmm. Okay. My, my AD and my range. Mm-hmm. I can only and beat him by kiting. Is... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All of his damage, it, all his base damage is very high. That's why the knight turns skills down. Mm-hmm. Like, that's why I say high base, high base, lower scaling. Right? This is how mm-hmm. leak logic works. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. All of his abilities are high base damage. Okay. So yeah, that's how you have to break. So to mm-hmm. recap, if if I get first tower bottom, if uh, I should usually go top, if if they have a wave clearing mid laner, I go top. Mhm. Okay. If they don't okay. have a wave clear mid, they're playing something like, uh, like this useless piece of shit. Um, Kill pops off. I mean, Kale can wave clear when she gets her stacks <laughs> up on her passive, and then she yeah, gets... Yeah, but, but that's only, like, level... Well, she can get I it now. She has to get five auto attacks, and then she gets the thing. Yeah. So, but I think she can wave clear a little bit. Level 11, because she isn't fully ranged yet. Yeah. She needs to, like, auto the, the mini minions, which is... She's prone to get hooked. Mm-hmm. She will be standing in front. So is what I'm See, doing bad right now? Should I not be going top? Because I am. I think you die. Right? If Renek has pure sodium plus ulti, you die. Okay, never mind. He's recalling. Yeah, it's fine you go top because why? Four uh, of them are mid lane. They're, yeah. they're defending the mid turret. So yeah. it's fine for you to go top. Okay. But I think this could have fought though. I think maybe we kill Renek then. Oh no, he recalls and then teleports back. Put a trap down, please. I didn't put down a trap because I'll just get turret. I, I don't know. I, I didn't think no, it would no. do if, much. If you put a trap down, you can confirm that the Renek won't suddenly flash on your face or E to your face. Oh, That's yeah. why you want to prevent. You, yeah. You think he can win that if he flashes 1v2? Oh yeah. Oh, with ulti. Oh, yeah, and he got yeah. items. Okay. I mean, I, I do have heal and... I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this goes. He does almost only to us, I think. Almost. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> he sucks, holy <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you see that damage? Yeah. Okay, let me let me tell you what the Renek should have done. Okay, does first of all, Wait, does screw he have... this item. This. Spectre's cow. Get Tiamat. Because why? If he casts his W. You can click Tiamat and it will cancel the animation. Mm-hmm. So what does that mean? He, gets he more can damage. auto attack. Yeah, he can get more damage in. Mm-hmm. But this is what happened. This is what he can done better. Yeah. He could have cancelled his... Okay, never mind. This is fine. He should have auto W. Because if he's stack at 47, right, I think his stack is at 47. I actually yeah. don't, don't know Renekton's kit. I just I just know that he can one-shot me all the time. He can only one-shot you if he has the Fury. Really? Okay, here. His ulti gives him 25 Fury. Okay? Oh, it... 25. Okay, it's 20 actually. Wait, what? Oh, 20 plus 5. Okay, yeah. 20 plus 5. So it Every is, second. If it's full... Bar, then he can. If it turns red, can he, he one shots me? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if he turns red, and if he uses the red bar of W, then he just one shots you. Okay. But he used the he, he used the normal W. Read the 50 Fury b- bonus. Look at how much damage he did. Attacks there. three times. 389. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so much. Yeah. Yeah, so if you look at your HP bar, isn't, it isn't that much. So, yeah. 
Yeah. Plus it hasn't count off. Look, look at his Q damage. Fifty fury. Nineteen swings just played. Three hundred. Oh, holy crap! <laughs> and it heals him. Yeah. yeah. So every ability does shit tons of damage. Okay. Okay. You should have died, but obviously it's a bad run at turn, so he he's scared. He bought Spectre's Crow against a bad Vladimir. If he had Tiamat, you have died. 100%. That's why I was like, um, it's very bad for you to go up against Trendlek without your trash. But even with trash, right, if you guys make at least one mistake, it's over. Mm -hmm. But obviously, without the ulti, he's freaking useless. So yeah, that's good. What the... So what should we do here? Kill this wave and go for Scuttle? Go for Referral. Okay. Wait, why, why are you guys always standing for Elise? He's, he's already out. I don't, I don't know. I think I, I was pinging Scuttle. I think. Okay, now get this. Because the one is going to contest you guys, right? Mm -hmm. No one. Yeah. So if you guys get this, what do you guys get? We get mid tower. For sure. In damage on the second one, probably. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to do. You have to consistently think of objective. Okay, so how do you think of objective? This is why you think of um, objective. Okay, let me let me write this in not bad. This is yeah. Okay. Talk about objective. Objective okay. first. Objective. What are we looking for? Okay, mid game. Sorry, mid game communication, right? Mid game communication. Because most players get lost in mid game. So first of all, we think about objective. Mm -hmm. So objective. And mid game is really important it's... on Jinx, right? Um, depends. Which is why I will explain to you how you should think of mid game. Okay. Okay. Objective. What? Okay. What do we want to do now? Okay. Either turret, dragon, baron, reef, farm. Okay. I include farm there because some objective requires you to farm. I say Jinx needs three items. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. We need our objective here is to get Jinx to her three items. Okay. Then we talk about manpower. Manpower. How many players do we need to achieve the objective? You see, it links to each other, right? Chain reaction. Yeah, chain yeah. reaction. Yeah. So let's say Baron, how many do we need? Maybe you have uh, okay, you have Kindred, Jinx. Maybe you need you only need Trash. Be uh. three man Baron. And then, uh, let me uh, think, uh, how about farm? How many do you need to farm? Just me, or actually, it, de one, right? it, it depends on yeah, where it the wave is. Mm -hmm. yeah. It depends. So at least only minimum two because you do not want more than that. Mm -hmm. Then maybe there's dragon. Maybe only one person needs to be at dragon. Maybe Kindred can solo dragon. How about turret? Turret. Turret. Probably like depends on. Yeah. Depends on how many they have. If yeah. you can solo, if you can solo with trash, the turret, then obviously you only need two, because if only kill is alone. But if they have like five men there or four men there, obviously you need to equalize the battlefield. So yeah, depending. Okay, that is manpower. So vision. Now we talk about vision. Okay, let's say we want to do Baron. What kind of Baron? What, what kind of vision do we need? Uh, their jungle and on Baron too. Jungle, Baron. Uh, oops, vision, jungle. Okay, sorry, doing Baron. Let's say, okay, we do we do Baron, right? We need jungle, the river, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. What kind of watch? What what kind of watch do we need? Thing watch, right? Yeah. Because we want to um do it without them knowing. Right. 
Yeah. Yeah. So Reaper Ward. And also Scuttle Crab can help too. Okay, cause... maybe you have Scuttle uh, Crab control. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this this is the kind of vision you want as a Baron. Okay. But what if you want to take the turret? What kind of vision do you need? Um, maybe the vi the jungle around the turret or like to the side so we don't get flanked. I right, TP. You are scared of TP. Like, let's say they might have TP. Like, maybe you're fighting Lissandra. Then she TPs behind you. You're screwed, right? You can't run to anywhere. Mm. Yeah. What's around the turret? Okay. Now, uh, maybe... Okay, Dragon is the same as Baron. Um, farm. Maybe you're overextending. So what kind of wards do you need? Jungle ward, right? Like, yeah. jungle vision. So you know if they're coming, so you can run. That's mm. So that's vision. Are we talk of, about area? Okay. okay. Are we setting traps for our opponent? Let's say we do Baron. Is it a bait or do we want to finish it? If it's a bait, where do we want to fight them? Maybe let's say look at your team. Uh, okay, you guys are good at catching somebody with trash hook. Mm -hmm. So they have no vision, right? They have to walk. So walk. Um, they, they have to walk to ward up. Yeah. So trash can. Yep. Control yep. a bush or something. Yep. Trash can maybe stand here. Then you guys don't do Baron. Just wait for somebody to walk to ward up. Then you can hook. So that's a mm -hmm. trap. Because you guys cleared the vision. They don't know what you guys are doing. Right? They need mm -hmm. to know. So that's why they put down a ward. And that's why they get caught. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have a team fighting team com. Okay, maybe you have Johnny, you have On. Why is On good in? Where does On fight? Best. Uh, at the pit. Or, oh. Okay, pit, pit. Because why it's yeah. small, so yeah. the corridors, the jungle. Because why? Look at this. Oh, oh so right. juicy. Okay, on yeah. will just hit everyone, literally everyone. Okay. Okay. So you can you can think of your champion kit like Jinx. Jinx is good in jungle area. Why? Why you, Why do you she, think Jinx is good in small areas? She can play front to back and uh, do AoE damage with rockets. Yep, a AoE. AoE, right? AoE? Mm -hmm. Front to back and your E. Your E is like 1, 2, 3, correct? Yeah. So they can only walk here, limited. Unless they want to step on the trap, then so be it. And they can't really flank you. Mm -hmm. okay, may maybe some of them TP, then sure, that, that's screwed up. Then that's not really fighting at your favor anymore. That's them fighting at their own favor. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you think about your champion kit like trash, trash box, open up box here. What happens? Uh, you have to walk through, right? Yeah. 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 So you can think about your teammates kit. Then you can try to do the a bit of shot calling. Fight in small areas. Then that means we are good in small areas. Then they would they try to simulate it in their mind. Like misfortune. Why is misfortune good at her small area? Why? Her alpha, yeah. yeah. Yep. Is everyone? Everyone tries to walk up, it's over. What uh, about Tristana? Tristana? Yeah. Tristana is... He doesn't have any strength except in open area. Because her, he, her true strength is open area because of her W. Yeah. She can jump to the side, then she can abuse her range. Then if she wants to like jump in, then so be it. She can like jump to the side. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have to like jump ahead. Like the enemy champion is here, right? Maybe she reset off here. She can jump here. Yeah. She doesn't. Yeah, she doesn't have to jump directly. But what if she's fighting in the jungle? Let's say she kills someone here. She's like here. Then she cannot really like jump forward properly because if she jump forward, it's it will be in melee range, right? Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to be in melee range of anyone if possible. Like she wants to keep kiting and use her range. So yeah, she will only jump forward a bit. Okay. Like she won't use her jump completely full range. So yeah. Okay. Open area is is the best. But if you want to fight in close, sure, because of her E. Mm -hmm. Her E is good. But only if they are clumped up, which is too yeah. much of a condition. Yeah. Yeah. Kokmo. She has runans as well, right? Yeah. Like Kokmo will actually build runans, so yeah. So if she wants to fight in small area, so everyone will get hit. So yeah. Think of the enemy champions and their kit and their itemization. Renekton. 
it's also it's also good in small area. Why? He gets the kill. stuns and stuff. Yeah. 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 Spins. Then the E the E can can almost hit everyone. It's your ulti also. It's your ulti. Right. Hits everyone. Yeah. And oh, also Kale. Kale yeah, right. Kale. Kale as a small area. So are we setting traps for our opponent? Um, EG, choke point, corridors, pit, open area. Um, yeah, okay. I, I won't go further than the area because anything other than this is like team play stuff. So yeah, you just stop here. Okay, mid game combination here. This is how you can not get lost in mid game. You think of objective. Okay, what you what do you need now? Okay. Do you need more farm, or do you need turret? Okay. okay. And power. And, and I recall when I have enough money for yep. an item, or if there's no more things to do. Yeah. Always try to recall for a uh, item spike, <coughs> like ship. Let's say you can get a rapid fire straight away. You do not want to stay, or you can get a runan straight away. You do not want to stay. You want that runan, so you can deal more damage. Right. Mm -hmm. My itemization, oh, yeah. I think, because I got the, what is it, the, the grievous wounds armor pen item. But I think I think it's better just to get more damage because. Yeah, it's better to get more damage. Because I'm so ahead of their backline and whatever it. It doesn't matter if, if Renekton is ahead because I can just kill their whole team and then just deal with Renekton, right? You should definitely fo focus Renekton first. Mm. Yeah. You don't have to aim the back line, just aim the Renekton first. If Renekton dies, all of them will start running. Right, because they don't have any defense. Yep. Okay, you see this chain reaction, objective, manpower, vision area. Okay. It's like yeah. chain reaction, objective, manpower, vision area. Yeah. This is this is how you can think okay. Another thing is like thinking about um Okay, let's say objective, right? So why do we want to do this objective? Yeah. Let's use the attacking versus defense concept, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Actually, let me just send you my link. Is it? Or you know what? I can just open it. Okay. Uh, it called. Okay. Is it? I think this is much more better. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this is much more better to share. Okay, take a look. Okay. If you go to the um, attacking concept versus defensive, you can see that it links to this mid game communication. I'll explain it to you. Okay, it's still loading. Oh. Yeah, it's a very. Is, is it like really big? Oh my. Sort of. He has a lot of images, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It loaded. So I'm on the second look, slide. Look. What slide should I go to? Uh, slide eight. Eight. Attacking team. Time limit. What are advantages? Okay. Who has the better scaling, your team or theirs? Uh. Well, apparently, there. 
I don't I don't know because kale is really good scale. Renekton can good be both. Yeah, it can be both. Okay. Yeah, so both. So if both both can play attacking, both can play defensive. Mm -hmm. So it de it depends. What kind of thing come your planes? If both are scaling, they can play attack. So if you see, what is our time limit, right? What is our time limit in the game? So there's no time limit. But in this case, some of your teammates have time limit, which is um, Z. Only Z. The rest doesn't have a time limit. But look at their team, how many has time limit? Elise, Renekton. And... Okay, that's all. Elise Wait. and Renekton. Why do they have a time limit? High base damage. Okay. Low scaling. Okay. Elise and Renekton don't scale? Very well? No, the they best? don't. Okay. No. And Zed doesn't if you look at the, okay, if you look at the damage, right? Mm -hmm. Look at level 5 kill. It's only 385. Uh -huh. But as you get as you get level, what happens? You get more tankier, right? Yep. Yep, ADC will be at what 1.7k HP. <coughs> so if ADC is at 1.7k HP with like blade, I mean with like blood cluster, what happens? You can negate this 300 damage easily, right? Yeah. So yeah, he won't have enough damage to deal with you alone. Okay. Same goes to Elise. Elise herself, look at her base damage, it's all like 145 ETC. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. you have more scaling than them. So in this case, you guys can play the defensive team. You guys can try to scale up. Okay. okay. So look at the defensive. What is that the king team planning? So they are ten. They need to get they need to end this game before everyone gets six items. Because once Kindred gets six, things get six, black gets six. They can definitely win fights. Okay, so okay. we we want to scale further, we want to defend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We want to defend. Okay. I would have thought we wanted to attack because I'm ahead. Yeah, we that's why I said we can play both. You can do both. But, yeah, but in proper scenario, right? Like if both teams are equalized, you should play defense. Mm -hmm. But since they we're, are the one, are... we're ahead, we can play attack. Yes. Okay. Okay. Look at the attacking. What is our time limit? Establish end game criteria. What do we need to do before that time limit? So uh... then we have to determine mid game approach and decide on the game setup. So as Establish endgame criteria. So, what helps us get to the nexus? Mm -hmm. uh, the Rift what? Scuttler, the Baron, Dragons, stuff like that. Or uh, maybe and inhibitors. Inhibitors, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, big game approach, what are our advantage? So, what Sh is our advantage right now? Who has the advantage? <laughs> Me, Jinx. You. Yeah. You. So, what, so what are you good at as a champion? Uh... Clearing waves, uh, sieging, team fighting. I think. So you will press the attack by pushing the target, right? You will force them to team fight us. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yes. So we want uh, we want them to team fight us. Yeah, you want them to team fight us. Hmm. But is your jungle and top really okay with it? Hmm. Maybe not. Yeah. At the end, yep. we were just losing team fights. That's how we mm -hmm. lost. So because that's why someone would get picked because they have a good amount of CC with Renekton and Elise. Mm -hmm. We don't have a front line except for maybe Thresh for a little bit. So, so if you look at the mid game communication, right, it's the same. You think towards your game plan. If your game plan is through Baron, then how do you set up for the objective Baron? Do you need items? Like. Mm. Okay, I need like three items to do Baron. So your objective is to farm in mid game. Then after three items, we can do our Baron. Let's say mm -hmm. we need to team fight. That is our condition to win the game. Correct? Mm -hmm. How many items do I need to win the team fight? At 100% sure rate. Maybe three items. Because if I run runs and rapid fire, I deal a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why you can think, so you won't get lost in mid game. You can think it that way. Do you think, think it's, this is a, hmm? do you think it's sometimes okay to get Runans and Static Shiv on Jinx? Yeah, definitely. Two crit item is really good on Jinx. 
Yeah, and it makes our team fight even better. I like mm -hmm. to I like to get static when I'm like super 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 ahead. Okay, never ever buy last whisper. Never buy last whisper. Never. If you're a crit champion, never ever buy last whisper because your crit will deal much more damage. So if you can stack on crit, right, it's very good. Oh. Then your next two items can be mercurial or bloodbuster. So even, basically anything. Even if they're tanky, I don't. I shouldn't buy last whisper. Only if your team is full AD. Only if my team's full AD. Why? But do you think because then they would stack like Thornman and shit that you guys have to penetrate through four hundred tons of armor. Mm hmm Because armor pen items, right? They don't give a lot of um pen anymore. Like it, it's only like thirty percent. I think they buffed but, it, didn't they? I'm sure it's like thirty percent. Hold on, let me 30%. see. They they nerfed it and then buffed it. And then nerfed it. They changed it a bit. Take a look. No, okay, let let's see the highest which the Lord Dominic's regards. Thirty five. So I shouldn't buy Last yeah. Whisper, but should I sometimes buy um, the Grievous Wounds one? Execution. Yes. Yes. Lock Dominix is not worth it. But the Lock Dominix is worth it. Uh. Okay. Because only if you need Grievous Wounds, then you buy a Last Whisper item. Okay. So, if I, if I definitely need Grievous Wounds, should I just, just buy the... What, what's the name of it? Execution. I mean, you should just you should just finish it after you get your triple crit item. Okay, I should just finish yeah. it. Okay. I see. So it's not good to say I have three crit items. It's not good just to get executioners and then build something else and then finish executioners later. It depends on your team. If you need the armor pen. Right, because you already have executioners, right? Mm -hmm. So might as well just finish it because it, it gives you damage as well. Okay. But if you need something like Mercurical, then go for it because if you need like QSS or you need Life Steel, then go for that instead. Okay. Like, like against Soraka, you want to first item back executioners. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. This is. The scaling 35% last whisper. Is it? Yeah, 35%. Lord Dominic is 35%, right? Yeah. Mm, okay, 35%. So this match is correct. You only start to gain more damage than crit after 180 armor. More damage. How, how, how do you know that? So, what does crit give you? Uh, double damage for... Oh, 225%. Why? Okay. Okay, take it this way. If you build Lord Dominic's weapons... I mean, if you build... Um, Lord, oh yeah, if you build Lord Dominic's, you gain only like what? 10... Uh, shit, not 20 AD. I'm fucking trolling. You gain 45 AD. Yeah. Right? You gain 45. What if you change this 45 attack damage to Bloodthirster? You gain extra oh. 35 ED, right? Mm -hmm. So that boosts that boosts up your crit 100%, alright? Like, yeah. your, your crit is determined by your ED. Okay. So the more ED you have, the stronger your crit is. So mm -hmm. this is 25 effective amount of crit. So yeah, you only gain um, value in armor pen after like 100... 70 armor, 180, so yeah, it's not worth it buying. Like, these champions, they won't ever reach 180 something. Never. Okay. They, they, these type of champions, they can't get to that to that state. Unless you're against like Malphite. Like, champions like Malphite, champions who are really... Remus, okay? Remus, as well. Mm. That way, you gain more value in buying armor pen. If not, okay. crit will just outscale. Okay.
that's the most useless blood I ever seen. <laughs> oh yeah, my the thresh that I queued up with after he was complaining about Vlad. Yeah. What what do you buy? Oh my god, yeah, you have excess gold. <laughs> oh wait, you don't. Yeah, this Runan is two point three k. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, you have extra four hundred gold. Oops. What should I do when I have like that much, like a weird amount of extra gold? Like, should I? Well, my I was talking to my friend who's diamond, and he said that getting a control ward is always better than getting like a long sword or a dagger. Is that true or not? It's true. True. I. It's it's only good if you guys can use it. That's a problem. Mhm. Mm yeah. So. It's good because you have nothing to buy the way, so you bought long sword, right? Then you have access gold. Then just buy a control ward. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, it's correct. Ouch. See they're fighting like three V four without me. Oh wait, I was there. <laughs> Yep. Later. It was almost. Yes. You guys win this. Uh. Yeah. Okay. You need to start to auto attack move. I mean, like, reset your auto attack animation. Do you know what I mean? Uh. What with the abilities? Like... No, no, no. Like, move, attack, move, attack, move, attack. Oh, kite. Like, like, you keep moving around. Yeah. It's like kiting, but you're going forward. Because oh. if you see, right, you, you can freeze. Like here. You you just you just stood there. What if every auto attack, like, you throw out? Right? Shit, fuck this. Uh, what if every auto attack you pull out, you move forward here? Oh, uh, yeah. Then I can kill Azrael, actually. Yeah. Because you move forward a bit, but here you see you you're not moving at all. Mm -hmm. You need to start moving in team fights. Okay, I I usually do that moving cutting moving stuff when I'm de playing defensive, but not so much when I'm just trying to kill them. But I see what you mean. Here I throw a little bit. I die to bard. No, I don't die to bard. I should just leave. You have no protection, yeah, you should just leave. Mm -hmm. Would have been good if Kin wait no. Is it Kindra's doing the right thing, right? Is he? Taking Dragon this late. Taking Ocean Drake isn't that good, but yeah. He's doing the safest play. You guys had no wave, that's a problem. Mm-hmm. Cause I, I thought that like, if Kindred was with me I could have gotten the tower. Okay, but does he know what you're thinking? That's a problem. Yeah. I should have checked the map. Yeah. I shouldn't have just assumed she was there. Or you could tell her to come. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's either one. So you have to tell your teammates. You can't expect them to read your mind, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Solo kill is always... Oh... No, 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 no. no. Wait, wait. Yeah, this They have is... only... Uh... <laughs> All I was thinking okay. about was getting through Renekton. But, Renekton has uh, only increased 35 armor, so that's not enough. Yeah, so it's not worth it. Mm -hmm. If you get static, you get m more crit. So yeah, mm -hmm. or rapid fire. Remember, only above 170 armor. Oh, wait, okay, if you're not sure of anything, right, the Wikipedia is to help you to max things out. Okay? okay. Let's say Void Staff as well. Let's say you're playing mid lane. Go look at the Void Staff scaling. Okay? It, it helps. Okay.
Okay, your next objective is I guess you guys want to take mid turret, but you see, you see how low vision. Mm -hmm. This is very bad. You do not want to get flanked. Yeah. Should I just champion. be asking my team to try to get vision? Yeah. Cause I next time, yeah. I can if you don't something. feel safe, yeah, don't don't try to siege this deeper. Mm -hmm. If you can't see any of them. Okay. You don't. You did not see any one of them as a kill, right? So it feels suspicious. It feels yeah. like something is off. Uh huh. Like say you guys can't walk up because of no vision. Mm -hmm. Or if the cocoon hits. Yeah, but. My God, he got caught. Yeah, I, I don't know what he was doing. This is where I throw this. They get so much off of this. They get to our inhibitor, I think. Yeah, if you die, basically, the game is over. This is the this is the game changing throw. Yeah, definitely. Yep, you are right. So how could how could I play, should have played this better? Which I said before, right? Back off, yeah. Back off. What I thought this guy, this guy is long gone. Correct. What I, what I was looking for is I thought that me and Kindred could just kill Renekton because he's away from his team. I didn't want to fight the rest of the team though. But Kindred okay, but how deep did you go? Yeah, I went too far and Kindred backed off. Mm -hmm. So I, I wanted Kindred, to. Well, I was thinking of random. Yeah, I wanted to go up, but Kindred didn't want to go up. This is why. Uh... We talk about risk, right? Mm -hmm. We should always take low risk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, always, hundred percent. But you can only take high risk if you're if you're freaking smurfing. Okay, because to to other elo, it feels like you are doing high risk, but actually you are doing calculated risk. Mm -hmm. Okay, but always do low risk. If you're alone, you have to back off because your team is running. The team mm -hmm. might collapse on you. Do you think me and Kindred could have gotten Renekton? No. No. Yeah, That's why, his, right? te his team was right there. It, they would have come. No, 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 no. Look, look at his movements, okay? Look at his reaction when he sees you. Okay, he was so ready to fight. That's how he look. Uh -huh. He turns back the moment you hear your W. And see this? Oh, 259. Yeah. He one-shots me. And then, yeah. Okay. No, it, it, he doesn't even have to fight you. That's a problem. Right. Correct? He can just run away. He can keep me yeah. there. Okay. Yeah, he can just run away. So you can't, you, both of you won't even be able to catch him. He has also flash. All right. All right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and then later in the game we do like a terrible Baron call, and then that seals the deal. Let's see how terrible it is. It was pretty. It was pretty unsafe. I should have. Like, it was. It was greedy to say. I could tell it was going bad. You could tell it was going bad. Yeah, when when Ezreal came to ward it. And then Zed and Vladimir aren't here. Actually, it would have been okay if Bard didn't ult me, but he did. We would have been able to turn it. Maybe you should use your heal. Yeah, if I use my heal, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting the Bard. I wasn't prepared for it. Okay, this is where you say expecting, right? Mm -hmm. Always expect the unexpected. Always take the safest play. Mm -hmm. So yeah, use your heal. You don't be like the NA double leaf. By 2017, he has never clicked his flash throughout the <laughs> entire game. So yeah, because he keep he keeps saving his flash for I don't know for what reason. But yeah, always take the safest play. Yeah, I notice sure. when I watch double leaf nowadays, he he's very liberal with his heals and flashes. Yeah, it's pretty much over. Yeah, this game, 
it's over. There's nothing you guys can do, actually. Yeah. They just run you guys over with turrets. Yeah. And your flat isn't even two items yet at the 23 minutes. Holy shit. Huh? Yeah. Okay, to recap, to recap things. How do we recap things? Okay. Um, to recap things, you have to work out. Okay. You talk about lean analysis, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. What do we want to do with the wave? Learn how to do wave management. Um, standing which side of the lane. Right? Yeah. Standing which side of the lane. Um, what else? Let me think. What did I talk about? Mm. Okay, goal. Goal tracking. When to recall. When to abuse the me. When to push. Okay. Oh, you also talked about okay. the the plus one decision with having a favorable lane. <laughs> and not not trying to do too many extra things. Don't grieve for more things. Okay. Okay. The chart analysis. This is important because before you do everything, you need to know who wins the level, who wins level one, who wins level two, who wins level three. Mm -hmm. Then you need to know um, if you guys want the short term trade or you guys want the long term trade. How do you analyze it? Runes. Um, base damages and maybe trading pattern mm -hmm. everyone has their own trading pattern this is based on experience for trading pattern okay yeah. don't worry about that you will if you play more you will learn how other champions trade or you can watch videos on it okay then what else hmm. anything no mid game mid game macro um, macro as well since you you don't know what to do after you take the first turret like you can't decide so you whether go top hmm? you should so after taking first tower you want to go top or yeah, go, go, mid, top. go mid depending yeah. on their mid laner yep okay but if um, you go top what hmm? do you want to do if you lose first tower there's two things you can do you can either be selfish and let your, te your top laner do the 1v2 or you can be an actual player who rotates with the top laner so what, is it, what does that mean? it Rotate. means that you swap, you swap with the top laner you swap because you know yeah because you know you lost your target right you know the enemy is going to rotate right? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if I can get my top laner to swap with me if I lose though I've only had it one game out of every single game I've played. Okay, but do, do you think they want to deal with the 1v2? Yeah, probably not. I mean, people probably don't rotate right. that much. Um, so, it, I feel like a problem in my ELO is they don't they don't lane swap very much. They don't um, rotate very much. They just want to, like, stay in the same lane for the entire game. Okay, Which... then what you should do is go mid lane. Force their top lane, force their duo lane to come in. Mm -hmm. But what? But sometimes if I do that, then their duo lane just goes bot, and then they just keep pushing and get towers and stuff. And what, then you and go back to bot lane. You match their top. You okay? You match their duo. Okay, so okay? that that's yeah. okay. because you're forced to match their duo because your your bot lane can only be matched by you and your support. So if they're pushing top, you have to go top. Okay. To prevent them from taking more turrets. Um, okay. That's a good thing to know. Match their duo. Mid game echo. Uh, mid game echo is what we talked about before. You're yeah, looking for objectives. And... Well, that's all the stuff in the above, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Let me say anything. Nope. Actually, we went through all the things. Oh yeah, I link. I link to you the wave management thing as well. Yeah, I have that. Yeah. So yeah, 
these two are important thing. If you can do 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 these two things, right? I'll show you what you can do. Hold on. Let me go to my smurf. See my friend smurf. Okay. Yes. If you understand all of this, oh shit! <laughs> you can do oh, con no. control shift T. Yeah. I don't think I don't think mine works. Yeah, shit, no, my oh, mine you're... doesn't work. I'm using Firefox. All right. Okay, if you can consistently do what I taught you, then you can smurf through the, you know, because up until D2, right, they don't understand how to control the wave. So you can certainly bully as a as a player. So yeah, learn this too mainly, the wave management. Yeah. What I taught you is the basic and the fundamentals of wave management. But to understand it further, it's better if you watch the video. Okay. Because the video, video, the video shows you proper wave management. Okay. Unless you can, unless you can simulate it in your mind, then that's good. Huh? Okay. Then this is a standing with side. You want to flame horizon, right? Stand with side then. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. just this. Yeah, go tracking as well. One point three k, one k goal. Kalista wants to recall a one point one k goal. It is a. So you should know. Okay. Greediness, we talk about this. We do not want to overstay on goal. Standing goal is a no. Okay? Mm -hmm. We want to keep on using our goal unless we are needed there. Unless we have to defend our turret. Mm -hmm. Then you're forced to stay. Unless you have to do something like right yeah. there. Oh, one thing I also learned is w knowing when they want to when they want to recall so you try to push in and stop them from mm -hmm. doing that. Just put, just put yourself in their shoes, so you know what they want to do. Yeah. Okay. okay, and using your jungler. Your jungler exists, okay? Don't think it as they don't exist. Right. Okay? If you need their help to shove so you, that you can recall, do it. Okay? Don't force yourself to stay because you do not want the jungler to get your goal. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So... So if it, if they're if they're pushing into me and they're ahead and they recall, I want to recall as soon as I can after that, right? Yeah, because you want your items, you want to be at hundred percent HP and mana. Um, yeah. So ideally, I'd want to push it into their tower, but if I can't do that, do what do I want it to be doing? The way. If I need to recall, but I can't push it into tower. What do? Then I you're do? forced to then you're forced to freeze it in a way where you don't. Um, you don't lose too much. Like you're forced to stay, right? You can recall. So it's a lose lose situation. You can't do anything except you can freeze it. You can just minimize. Yourself, sorry, then. Minimize. Yeah, the minimize it. So, yep. Okay. Then this is why you call your jungler. Jungler, come over to bot lane. Help me gang. Pressure gang. Help me push. So I can recall. Okay. okay. You, free, you freeze it first. Then tap to your jungler because he still needs time to go to you, right? Unless you're you're like a mind predictor, like you know he wants to recall, you call your jungle, jungle, come help, help me push. Then sure, go go for it. That means you get to recall first before he recalls, correct? Right. Because he has to clear the wave. Yeah, he has to clear the wave while you can just recall. Okay, makes sense. Using your jungle. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! I forget to teach one more thing about stat shit. All right. I'll be sending you this stat sheet that you can use. But first, I will show you how it works. Okay. Okay, if you look here, you can see clearly, right? Can you see it clearly? Mm, yeah, I can, I can see it. Okay. First, obviously, you put the game timer. Okay, what this shows me, right? Red means bad, 
orange means average, green means good. The most important part as a carry is the GPM. Okay. Why? Why do you think GPM? What is GPM? Uh, it means you can get items. Means you can get, can get items, right? Yeah. yeah. Gold per minute. So. Gold per minute. So you can see that I have some rate. If I rate meaning it's either I'm not farming well, or I'm not the carry. Like I'm useless because I'm not getting my items on time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 400 is where you get your items on time. 450 and above is where you're smurfing. Yeah. Okay. So do you think getting CS is more important than trying to fight? No. No. Like I said, it depends. As long as your GPM shows okay. you that you are still relevant in the game. Okay, because you get gold from either. Yep, you get gold. That, that way you can weigh. Okay, what if I kill this champion instead of taking this 5 CS? Okay, if I get this skill instead of 5 CS, I gain more gold. Right. Okay, yeah. If I lose these 3 wheels for a, for one kill, it's not worth. Correct? Correct. Like, like, like let's say there's 3 waves going to crash towards you, then there's a fight in the jungle. Obviously, there's a juicy ass wave in front of you, right? Yeah, it's like the same yeah. amount so of gold. The same amount, the safest, and the most lowest risk. So yeah, obviously the wave comes first. Mm -hmm. right? Unless it's a blown up team fight, which do doesn't make sense anymore, then that's Crown Fiesta. If it has a yeah. full team fight. Yeah. Or, or if it's like really important to kill that person. Um, mm -hmm. Aside from the amount of gold it gives you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let me let me make a copy. Uh. Okay. Let's fill in this together so you know how to use it properly, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, look at your OP.GG, then fill out any one of the games you feel like you want to fill out. But you can just delete it after. I just want to show you the example. Okay. Uh... Yeah, if you open it up. Sorry. Okay, let's let's put in the kid in game, the six six nine. Okay. Or maybe let's let us let us just put in the Jack. I mean the Jinx game. Jinx. Well, which Jinx game? The, uh, the one we reviewed. Yeah, the Renekton game. Okay, the thirteen five. Okay, put the date first. Date. Date of the game. Three. Which is. Oh, I'm trying. To... Wait, am I able to edit? Yeah, you are. Okay. Three, nine, nineteen. It's being slow for me. Yeah, maybe I have too much stuff open. Three, nine, nineteen. Game timer. Game timer use dots. Thirty-five. Like, like that. Thirty-five point one nine. Okay. OPG average MMR. This says silver too. Yeah, silver too. Patch. I don't know. 9.5. Yeah. Okay, roll. Boxman. Boxman. Jinx. Just, just type in Jinx, yeah. Ponan mm -hmm. IGN. Uh, Slim D T P slash rank. What's his rank? Let me see. Silver two. Silver two. Yeah. Open and pick Ezio. Win lose. What does that mean? Oh, if Should I win. won or not? Yeah, I lost. Kill. Thirteen five thir eleven. Thirteen five. Okay. Eleven. Okay, do not put anything in the KAD, KDS, CSPM, GPM, WPM. Just skip to the control ward because those are maps. 
Okay. Those are things you don't have to touch. Yeah. Okay. Let's put at the control ward. Um, control ward. One. One. Okay. This early mid late right is as a player review. Okay. Player review meaning early game. Did you did better than the eight enemy they carry? Yeah. If you did, then put win. But if you didn't, put lose. But if you both are equal, then put neutral. Same goes to mid and late. Did you win the AD carry or did the enemy AD carry play better than you in mid game? Uh, lose. Think it's that. Mm -hmm. So CS, put a CS. CS. You had 272. 272. Gold. gold. 44,000. Uh, no, no, that's, that's not your gold, that's your damage. Oh, damage, yeah. <laughs> Wait, how, do, how, do I, how do I read the gold? 18381. It's a team analysis. Team analysis. Uh, Under match match analysis. Like overview, okay. team analysis, yeah. Match analysis. So 183831. 381, yeah. Okay. What what's placed? You place eleven. Okay. Wait, so where's yeah. It's also yeah. under mesh analysis. Yeah. Okay. The notes, right? The notes, you can put something like why you did well this game or what made you this fair or what you could have done better here. Anything uh, to make you me anything to make you remember on what you could have done better or what you could what you did good in this game, etc. Whatever. Uh, As long as it helps you. Uh, like maybe match up knowledge. Like, okay, maybe this game I should have not traded like this, 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 this. Next time I will not. Right. Yeah. Right. Anything. Trade. Okay. Things. Okay. Okay. Now look at your GPM. Your hot cost smurfing. <laughs> you have those gold, right? You have way too much gold. If you if you open up the game, right, you see. Everyone has no full item except you. Right. Yeah. I got to six. So, yeah. So that means even if you have low CS per minute, right? But your kills and assists make up for it, then you don't have to like say, oh shit, my CS is low. I need to work on it. It's a noob trap. It's better to look at the GPM. Okay. Um. As long as your GPM is good, then the CS is okay. But if you have low kill participation, you have low CS per minute, obviously your GPM is going to take a toll. Obviously right. it's going to be red. Yeah. Okay. So that means it's bad. That it means nothing is good. But if you have high CS, low kill KP, but your GPM is high, then it's good as well. Because at least you're that fat, you, you are threatening. Maybe you're the split pusher, who knows, right? Uh -huh. Some split pusher doesn't have high KP. So okay. yeah, take it that way. Yeah. Because some people think that, ah, your CS, you need to work on your CS. So that's why I don't talk about, okay, your CS is bad. You have to work on it. That's why first thing I mentioned was you have high KP, low CS. Mm -hmm. That kind. Okay. Yeah, because your low CS is made up by your KP. So it's a trade-off. I kind of want to put in that Tristana game. Yeah. Sure. You can put in any game you want to. Okay. So, yeah. Alright. Anyways. I've, that's all for me. If you have any questions, you can ask. No, I think I right, right. covered everything. Yeah. That was. I covered most everything. Okay. Yeah, that was extremely helpful. That was really, really good. Thank you so much. Um. Okay. If you have any questions, right? In my server, there's these premium stu students. You can ask your questions there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Great. Like, like maybe for now you don't have any questions like in the future maybe you want to confirm something mm -hmm. you want oh. to confirm this play then obviously you can ask me yeah all right okay all right thank you so much all right. no will... problem i'll leave a good review all right thank you thank you bye Have a... bye